Savannah Sandnets heading into today's series finale against Charleston on a five game winning streak tied for second place with Rome in the Sally League's Southern Division. Nats trying to complete the sweep of the Charleston River Dogs. Bottom of the three, no score. Joe Tushak, deep center field. Bounces it off the jewelry store sign. John LaRue is in, one nothing. In fact, the Nats led two nothing, and that's when it was time to grab a little ice cream. It was so good to get rid of the spoon. Just kind of suck it up there. There you go, good stuff. After getting kicked around for two days, the River Dogs let it all out in one inning of play. That's right, the fifth inning. That's Angel Aguiar to left field. A two-run double. Dogs score five runs in the inning. Excuse me, eight runs in the fifth inning. That's right, eight in the fifth. Charleston salvages the finale. 9-3 is your final score. Braves finishing up a series in San Francisco. What a thrilling one this was. 2-1 San Fran in the seventh. Juan Uribe against Madison Bumgarner. Uribe to left field. That's a two-run home run. Braves steal away that lead. 3-2. Tied at three, bottom of seven. Joe Panic. He goes yard right center field. Giants take that lead back, five to three. In the ninth inning, the Braves just wouldn't go away. Freddie Freeman, deep center field. Yahoo to the right of it. That's a home run, made it five to four. Base is loaded. Jace Peterson finds the gap. That clears the bases. Three runs score. Braves with a huge win on the road. Seven five is your final score. Lapalin County High School grad Byron Buxton continuing to work toward that call up to the big leagues quite possibly could happen this season. Buxton, six home runs, 262 average so far for the Twins class AA Chattanooga Lookouts. His 11 triples more than double the next guy in line in the league. Buxton's also second in the Southern League with 35 RBIs. We've been keeping tabs on Pembroke's Tiffany Howard this week, helping her Auburn Tigers in the Women's College World Series. Howard with a couple of hits again today. Unfortunately, the great run by the Tigers coming to an end. Last night, they won at 11-10 in extra innings. Today, losing 3-2 in extra innings to Florida. The former Bryan County Redskins softball star finishing her junior season at Auburn with a 415 average. Her team finishing 56-11 this year. Savannah's Brian Harmon starting out the day of the PGA Tour's AT&T Byron Nelson with an eagle and a birdie in his first three holes. Well, he kind of cooled down after that, finishing with a 67. Good enough for a tie for 39th place. Buford's Mark Anderson. Struggled on the final day of the AT&T Byron Nelson. He fires a 74, finishes at plus one, tied for 69th place. Incidentally, Stephen Bowditch picked up the win at 18 under par. Liberty County High School grad Jordan McCray gearing up for his first summer camp for kids. Well, he works his way up the ladder in the Philadelphia 76ers organization in the NBA. He also wants to give back. McCray spent more than five months in Australia playing, capped the season off in Delaware. He'll head to camp to try and make the Sixers squad next month, but first, He's kicking off his Basketball Skills Academy in Liberty County next week. I'm definitely excited about it. Um, you know, I'm, it feels really good to give the Savannah area, the Hinesville area, a chance to have, you know, pro professional athletes here that can uh, throw out on camp. So that way kids all the time don't have to go up to Atlanta and other places. These advanced drills, you know, will help out with their next season in high school and, and, and beyond. Again, the camp is next weekend for all rising 6th through 10th graders. We brought you the story yesterday, the Jenkins Warriors collecting their rings for winning the Class 3A State Basketball Championship back in March. First ever for the boys team. The Warriors will be returning some talent for next year's run, but the leaders of the team guard Eric Johnson and forward Malik Benlevy. They're off to play college basketball next year. I'm seven guys that, that, that were seeing in our program. A Florida guy was with me for four years. Um, again, like I told him before, don't let this be the greatest accomplishment in life. You know, the sky is the, the, sky is the limit for these young men. You, you have a future and you have, you, have a, you have plans ahead of you. I'm going to miss but Eric's my cousin, so I'm going to see him a lot. Okay. Family reunions and stuff. All of us, we, like, we talk every day. Ever since, ever since we won, we still talk every day. We'll be all right. You're going to miss this group of guys though on the court last yes. time. What can yeah. they accomplish next year? A repeat. Malik Benlevy going to Georgia State next year, but he's already calling for his high school for a repeat. Talk about putting a pressure on those high school kids. I